Hi there and welcome back to fmhtutorials.com where this is part three in this series of tutorials we're doing focused on making minimal sounds with FM8 and in this tutorial we're going to be making like a percussive sequence type sound that you had playing at the start of the tutorial which is this sound which is all we've got playing there is just one kind of long MIDI note and and just using the envelopes and some effects we're creating that percussive sequence so hopefully this will help you get your head around programming and designing your own kind of customized envelopes using FM8 which is a really cool feature but I found initially quite fiddly to make your own envelopes so let's create a new sound in FM8 and just get the basic sound together for starters so let's go to the operators page and Operator F, we're going to take the ratio down by half to 0.5, keep it as a sine wave, key sync it, make sure it's being sent to the pitch envelope as well, can be using the, the pitch envelope for this sound, and just route it to the output at full volume, 100, and also into operator X, a 37, turn on X, and X can just route to the output at 100, and next up operator E can take the ratio down to 0.5 keep it as a sine wave key sync it turn it on of course and this is just going to route into operator X at 67 and it's going to route feedback into itself as well around about 25 should be okay and operator D the ratio at 2 the sine wave again key sync it, turn it on, feed it into itself and about 30 will be fine and route it to operator X around 47 and also I'm going to feed F into D 31 around about 30, yeah 31 So we've got fairly basic sounds so far. So next thing we can look at really is just set the master section quickly. Just make sure the synth's monophonic. We don't need any detuning or anything. The voices can just stay on one. Um, so yeah, obviously make sure all of these are checked. So it's being sent to the pitch envelope and can start setting the envelopes now. So E and F, the envelopes can link together we need to make sure they're tempo synced and then I want to drag the sustain out to just here this line just before to the left of the 4 over 8 make sure the sustain box is checked so we're on a sustain loop so it's going to loop over this section and in the mode section here just click it to make sure it's fixed so this point here will stay the same now when we start drawing in some extra points in here and moving them around it's not going to affect this end loop point and I think by having this sustained loop point looping over this section this line just before the 4 over 8 is kind of a perfect loop like a perfect one bar loop so what we want to do is hit control and click so we can start drawing in some of our own kind of envelope shapes if we just pull the attack of the first point right down and this can be quite fiddly to be fair and I want a point just there just before the 1 over 8 pull that right down and so make it quite tight there and then do a similar thing here the 2 over 8 maybe put another pointer in make the volume of this second point a little bit quieter and do a similar thing here 3 over 8, put another point in, control click, pull that down and then just really need another one as well really. There we go and I wanted to do a little fill at the end. Around about here. The 
and slightly different. I've got a little bit more of a slope to tack on this. So if you listen to this, now, make sure this is tempo sync too. So we've got that sort of sound going on now. And if we can loop that with the kick drum. We've actually got it quite, it's quite nice and in time I actually noticed it's it's half a bar what we're looping over there. Sequence, because that sequence is occurring twice in this one bar section. But keeping these points just to the left over the one over eight, two over eight means it's kind of really locked in. I think that one needs to move to the slightly to the left actually. Right then, so next thing we can do is set operator D, the envelope for D. So we can link it to E and F and then unlink it so we don't affect E and F. And maybe just take some of these down. So just take the this pointer and this pointer down. So So that's just giving a bit of a variation. And okay, next we can do the pitch envelope. So what I want to do for the pitch envelope is get the envelope the same as what I'd set for E and F. And I noticed actually that you don't, for some reason, you don't have the option to link the pitch envelope to these envelopes. So what I did was, if I save this in this empty slot I have here, save that envelope and go to the pitch envelope, I can load it up in here and then tempo sync this as well make sure it's fixed just in case you make any alterations you're not going to end, change the end point and then it'll all go out of time um, and then just put the amp envelope of sorry the envelope of the pitch up to around halfway so it's just making those hits what we set before those envelope hits uh, it's making them more percussive Coming a bit more of a percussive kind of loop sequence now. Maybe just solo FM8 again for now. So um the thing the next thing to set really is the sounds coming together a bit more is the effects just to beef the sound up a little bit. So I can start with an overdrive, pull the drive to around quarter of the way. So yeah, around to about sixteen. Push the tone right up, so we get a nice bit of brightness with the overdrive. Push the bass up to around 70. Next step, we can have a peak EQ and just boost some of those mids and high mids. And also push the volume of this up, just because I noticed the volume is quite low with this sound. Obviously not, so it's into the red. Add a bit of reverb for a bit of space. Just pull the time down, push the bright up, and the dry wet can come down to about 11. It's quite subtle. Put some sight delay on. So this is going to add a little bit of a kind of extra dimension or extra layer to the sound. Sync it, pull the feedback down to about 18. Keep everything else, everything else the same, but just pull the dry wet down to around quarter of the way. Next up, we can add a chorus delay. Pull the time to around quarter of the way. Sync it, sync the delay push the low cut up and this is something to just an extra kind of thing with the sound really push the feedback right up and have the dry wet at zero so just pulling the dry wet up we can have that you could automate that It'd be quite a cool thing for a fill or a breakdown or something to just bring in that sort of kind of like really quick slap back style delay on there and I think that's everything with the sound I'm going to include the patch uh, I've made in in this sound um, so you can download the patch just in case you struggle to get the sound exactly right 
because um, I think I've remade it and it does sound a little bit different from when I started the tutorial but that's just kind of nature of this sort of sound really it's quite difficult to remake exactly as it was but I'm hoping it's given you a bit of a better insight into how to kind of customize your own envelopes for these sort of sounds percussive kind of sequence sounds in FM8 so there you have it really percussive sequence sound in FMA. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions then please get in touch and thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.